Thank you all for coming. Um, I'm Professor Signori, and this is... I'm Forest Ranger Kale. So, thank you for coming. I believe this is the only Genshin panel, so welcome. <laughs> if you don't know Genshin, that's fine too. It's going to be a great time. But before we begin... <laughs> We want you to know that this is not to shame anybody at all for having an unsustainable cosplay. It is solely to educate. We know that people get into cosplay and have a ton of different reasons, a ton of different knowledge. So we're just here to share our knowledge on how to make this more sustainable hobby. Thank you. Um, and I would like to note this panel is PG-13. Please keep all Language, behavior, everything Kale appropriate. <laughs> but the thing is, this panel is appropriate for all forest rangers. But Master Tignari can have quite the attitude sometimes, so we better watch out for that. And some of these subjects might be a bit confusing for our young trainee forest rangers. Like children. <laughs> yes. There aren't any. About the host, um, this is just to, so you guys know, I am at least somewhat qualified to be presenting a panel on sustainability. Uh, you can call me Slumpy, he, him, they. Um, I am currently running an eco travel blog and several um, other accounts on different platforms where I promote um, my biggest passions, which are tourism and sustainability and how to make both of those happen. I also wrote an award-winning article on coral bleaching with my team while I was living overseas. It won an international competition called China Daily. It's super awesome. Um, I also volunteered at a coral restoration farm and um, elephant orphanage. And I am Patty Open Water Certified. If you have no idea what that means, it means I'm certified to scuba dive. I lived abroad. I lived in Taiwan for the past year. I am back in the United States and I'm leaving the U.S. again in about three weeks to pursue my eco-travel career. And I'm a professional thrifter. I'm not a professional, it's actually my mom. She runs a retail business. Okay. And I am the co-host. You can call me Sunny with she, her. I am a vegetarian, which one of the main reasons for that is actually its effects on the environment and stuff like that, because it's actually like the meat industry is really bad for it. I'm not like trying to convince anyone. <laughs> and I only use cruelty-free products, which help save like the life and animals on this planet. And I am a bit of an animal rights activist, but not like that vegan teacher, <laughs> the one that writes all the weird songs. And now before we continue. We're going to quickly talk about how we made our cosplays and why they are sustainable. I'll start. These ears are made out of cardboard and yarn. The yarn may not be sustainable as I did purchase at a store. Um, what else do I have? These gloves were thrifted, both of them. And yeah, these the buttons. The buttons I did buy at a store. This um, hoodie thing is thrifted, same with the purple thing. These are Christmas decorations. Um, and it's, all of this is thrifted down except for these black pants, which I did purchase at five and below. But everything else I have either made or thrifted and altered into this cosplay. Even the shoes. <laughs> so about 99% of what I have on is from my mom, so it's all like 30 years old. So like even like, she's had these like tights for like 10 years. She has had this dress longer than I've been alive, and I'm 24. I have thrifted these curtain things from Goodwill for three dollars. <laughs> and I mean, I just used like a lot of old clothing that I already had, even from when I was like a child. Like I have like my little leg thing, which is a belt from when I was like 10. But that's about it. I actually did not purchase any new items for this, and it was really nice and fun to do. Except the wigs. Except the wigs. Yeah, my <laughs> wig is like full plastic. And my contacts are also, I don't know what material. <laughs> We're gonna skip over this, but there is a table of contents. You can look at it if you can read fast. 
ก็เห็นหน้าเราสิเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่องของเราเรื่
Does anyone here know what the three R's are? Oh, I know, I know. Um, it stands for Ruka de Shava Mushrooms, Red Crest, and Really Bad Jokes from Sino. <laughs> right? Good answer. You're absolutely wrong, Papa. Anybody else? Anybody? Congratulations, you're a oh, genius. That means much more sense. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So reduce, reuse, recycle. How do they apply to cosplay? Well, reduce is don't buy a costume you don't absolutely love. So that outfit that maybe your friends really want you to do, but you just don't love the character, or maybe you love the character, but aren't you sure if you're really gonna like their design, or even just you have the money so you feel like you'll just buy a new costume, don't do that. You don't have to do that. In fact, you'll probably just get a lot more joy by doing a character you actually genuinely love from the bottom of your heart. Ryu, repeating your costumes is good, you guys. Maybe you post on Instagram, don't you want to have that cosplay that people recognize you for? Don't you want to, yeah, have a signature cosplay? Maybe, maybe not, maybe you like to change. But it's okay to repeat your costume. In fact, I think it's a great thing. And learning to give your cosplays a little TLC is also very good. Learn how to wash it in cold water, learn how to do some light sewing and repair. It doesn't have to be perfect, but a little bit can go a long way. And recycle. Repurposing your old costume and wigs. So, maybe you have a costume that could totally work for another character with some slight alterations. Or a wig that you're not going to wear anymore, so you could cut it if it's the same color, and just restyle it. Why not? If you're not going to use it anymore, use it for something else. And I'm not encouraging hoarding with this last one, but consider being a scrap collector. Keep scraps when you're making your costumes. It's a great idea, good for the environment, but don't keep the ones you know you don't use. Used cosplays. Colin, would you like to introduce why it is good to use, um, buy or sell used cosplays? Well, it definitely helps to keep clothing out of the landfills, which aren't really that good for our environment or planet. And it gives other people a chance to cosplay a character they love which is honestly so awesome. And you can earn some Mora back if you buy, if you sell them. And you can save it if you buy the used. Very that good. That way you don't really have to spend three Mora like me. <laughs> I don't get paid to be a trainee for a stranger. Well, we'll see. <laughs> So some places where you can buy or sell used cosplays. I'm going to show four here, and I would love to know if you guys have used any. Have any of you guys heard of or used Costco? Couple hands, couple hands. All right. Costco is great because it is a cosplay-only site. It's a very small platform right now, but they do have pop-up events at some conventions. So is anyone here at MatsuriCon in 2022? Yeah, it, Costco was here, and they had that little night market, if you remember, where you could go buy used cosplays. Great for the environment, and you can kind of see what you're getting before you buy. As we all know, sometimes cosplays don't look like the pictures online. However, again, it is a small platform, so you might not always be able to find the costume you're looking for, especially in your summer. But if we use this platform, it can continue to grow. Mercari is another. Who here has heard of or used Mercari? More hands, more hands. Very good, very good. The great thing about it, it is a large platform, so it is more likely that you'll be able to find a lot of costumes that might be more likely to be in your size. However, a con is that they did increase their shipping recently, or they are going too soon. So, sad news. Depop. This one's pretty popular, right? Who here has used or heard of Depop? <laughs> Less people, okay. Well, that's okay. Um, Depop is also a very large platform. Um, they're great. You can find a lot of stuff on it. Um, I've used Mercari for several of my outfits. I cosplayed Barbara and uh, 9S from Mir, and I bought their costumes of, of Mercari. And yeah, I bought my 2B from Depop, even though I couldn't send anyone the link because they don't let you. So I couldn't send or show anyone the 
super cool cosplay I was gonna do. Yeah. Because it sucks. Yeah, so they're a bit weird about sending links. So if you're looking for a cosplay for somebody else, it might be a bit inconvenient. And mutuals! Did you guys know that your mutuals probably have costumes that they don't want anymore? So, you might even get to try on or see this costume in person. Perhaps you met them when they were in that cosplay, or you're going to a con where you're both going to be at. You can try it on, see how it fits. Again, you have to arrange this in it depends person to person, but I think it's a great way to get a new costume because you'll already kind of know what you're doing. However, if your mutual is a little sketchy, I would not recommend this because there is no company to back up the transaction. So if it arrives worse than you expected or they just never give it to you, be a little careful, guys. Has anyone here ever sold or bought a cosplay from a mutual? Nice, nice. Very good, very good. Uh-oh. It looks like Master Tignari isn't very happy. So, um, maybe we should listen to what he has to say. I know I've been talking a lot already, and you're probably sick of my voice. But do not sell your cosplays for the same or higher price than you bought it for. After it has been in your hands, the value decreases. It does not matter if you've worn it once, twice, 50 times. Of course, if you want 50 times, you probably will that price a lot. But <laughs> you guys, you cannot be selling it for the same price, and you are, are ruining the sustainability movement by doing so. Because why would somebody want to buy a cosplay when they can pay the same price or $10 more to get it brand new? Please, be reasonable, sell your cosplay for a bit less, don't expect to make a profit or to get all your money back. Just, you'll get some. Isn't that enough to save the planet, please? Yeah, it's super cool. I actually got my Depop cosplay. It was brand new and had never been worn. And they were charging like $30 less than what they got it for. Yes. This is very cool. Yes, please be reasonable, you guys. Please raise your hand if you've ever closet cosplayed. Oh my goodness, so many. This is amazing. <laughs> awesome. Very good. Very good. But, um, even though they know, I really don't. So what is closet cosplay? Closet cosplay is wearing normal clothes that are normal clothes. <laughs> that you already have in your house or you can easily thrift with the wig and any other notable features the character has. This character, this clothing can be similar to the character's usual outfit or you can go a complete different route of doing what's called an AU. For example, a tech wear, college life, winter time, etc. And if you don't know what an AU is, you need to read more fan fiction. <laughs> That's called an alternate universe. But I'm illiterate. <laughs> we'll work on it. <laughs> and now we have some examples of closet cosplay for you. It's me! And me. And it's us. you! You! Me! It's you! <laughs> so here's some examples of closet cosplay. Probably would you like to explain your goal very quickly? So I use these jeans I have had for like 10, 5 years. And because we were doing more of like a casual little thing, I thought it'd be cute. I painted my own shirt actually with a little dog on it. I thought it'd be really cute. I did like fabric paint I already had. And it was really good and a lot cheaper. Yeah. And more fun. Yay. And my hazo that I forgot the dots under the eyes for um, was from a shirt and pair of shorts that I already had, as well as I think actually the scarf I'm wearing, the like rose one. I think I've had that too for part of the shoot. And then our formal wear, we go to lots of cosplay formals. We like to dress up and do awkward prom poses. Woo! You look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but you totally want to see cooler people than us. So, here we have Cass and Chris who are cosplaying. Um, and then we have High Hopes Cosplay. And uh, we have Unknown Riku. So, these are some of our awesome friends who allowed us to see the, their pictures. We did not take them without permission, we promise. We can go DM them and ask. <laughs> so, see, you can look great with the cosplay. So, what's the point of thrifting, though? Anyone have any ideas why you should consider thrifting a cosplay? Any ideas? Guesses are great. Cheaper. 
Yeah, very good, very good. You can often try it on before you buy it. Yes, very good. Anybody else? Those are both great. I love their dances. It keeps clothing in the cycle as one. By buying thrifted cosplay, you're buying something used and allowing it to be used again, which is great. It allows for repurposing. If you want to buy um, some clothing and you want to alter it, that's great. Tons of options. Have you ever been in a thrift store? <laughs> good, good. You guys know where the food is at. <laughs> um, great for newbies who maybe don't want to spend a ton of money or don't have the resources. Or maybe they want to try sewing, but they don't exactly know how to yet. And for you, for cosplay. You can find something for cosplay, or you might find something you really like for yourself. Yes, Holly? Did you know that sometimes people actually sell their, or donate their old cosplays to thrift stores? So you can find really cool things there. I know multiple people who have found, like, tons of cosplays at local thrift stores, which is super cool. Yeah, you never know what you'll here. find. And you can also find weird shirts. Yeah. <laughs> or things I spelled wrong. But, so, what's thrifting ideal for them? Well, thrifting can be done for any character in any costume. However, it's often the ideal for slice of life characters because they already wear what's considered normal clothes. And people who can use old sheets, curtains, etc. into their cosplays, maybe they want to try selling something. AU cosplays, if you don't remember that, you're a bunch of bummixes. <laughs> and cosplays you don't want to spend a lot of money on. Making sustainable costumes. How the heck do you do that? Does anyone here know what polyester is made of? Very good, very good. How about acrylic? Very good. And nylon. Does anyone here want to answer what these three things have in common? Go ahead. No type of fabric, yes. And also, yes, sir? They are completely made of plastic. Additionally, other plastic-based fabrics are rayon and fleece, so we can do that. But if those are all bad, then what are some sustainable materials that we can use? Great question. Does anyone have any ideas? Cotton, Cotton yes. Anyone else? Good thing y'all came the panel. <laughs> There's many options, but there's a few ideas. Cotton. Yes. <laughs> Woo, we got one. All right, last chance for any guesses. Yes, hemp, wool, in behind you. Well, you're right, I think. Oh, we got bamboo first, though. Did you guys know that bamboo can be a fabric? Actually, one, some of these prizes are made out of bamboo. You should really stay for the end. <laughs> Hemp, yes. And jute. Jute is also one. It's like that woven fabric, if you know. A little scratchy, but it can be very good for certain characters. And old fabrics, again, I consider these sustainable, even if they are made out of plastic, because you are repurposing them. And bonus points if you choose organic fabrics, if you want to be one second. Holly's going to take it from here. So, even though there are sustainable <laughs> fabrics, unsustainable ones, there are ones that are closer to good, where they are biodegradable, but still technically unethical, depending on your like beliefs and stuff. So, some examples are leather, silk, and cashmere. Both cashmere and leather are produced from animals, and these, actually, the farms specifically for these, take up large amounts of valuable resources like food, water, and land. And this land actually contributes to deforestation, which sucks. We want to be one with the forest. One with the forest. One with the forest. One with the forest. And one of the main reasons silk is bad is it often puts the workers in terrible conditions, overworked and underpaid, which just Sucks. It's just like me. I don't even get paid to be a trainee forest ranger. Just like I was saying. We're negotiating. No, we're not. Okay, so with wool, wool is a very interesting.
interesting one. It depends basically on where it is sourced from, where, um, for the most part, wool is sheared due to the fact that the sheep actually need it to survive. But again, it kind of like depends on like the ethic thing, where like I'm okay with using wool and stuff, even though it is kind of scratchy and that's gross. And <laughs> But it really does depend on how they're like bred and the conditions they're actually kept in, which can kind of suck and the deforestation thing once again. But one of the main things you can do to help with this is buy from like local farms. And like there are lots of producers in this area actually. There's actually ones that sell like alpaca and llama wool and stuff. And those are super cool. There's one really, really close to where I live and you can like visit their farm. It's super cool. One with the farm. One with the farms. One with the sheep. <laughs> so yeah, those are a few examples. Research. Yeah, research and research. Some examples of sustainable fabrics in cosplay are some of our awesome friends, again, High Hopes Cosplay, um, made this white top part out of some fabric scraps. Um, and then our friend who had to go leave to another panel made, these mm -hmm. entire, made this entire kimono out of sheets and paint. And this tail is made out of old fur, a fishing line, and a rusty hanger. <laughs> so you can use a lot of things in your cosplay. It's true, it's true. Okay, this one should be easy. Does anyone have any ideas of sustainable ways to travel to a convention? Oh, I know, I know. We can use our wing gliders, just like Amber. We're you don't use anything for that. We're not in non-step, Chloe. Then we are only. <laughs> okay. A helicopter. Not certain. Um, not sir, I would like to ask you to leave this pin. <laughs> 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 it's the leather, isn't it? <laughs> it's all because of the lava. <laughs> um, I'm not certain that that's the most sustainable way, yes? No, Carpooling, yes, yes. And the, I saw another hand, did you have another idea? No. Sorry, I might use Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. Running. Running, yes. <laughs> if you live close and you want to book it to the convention, <laughs> kudos to you. Yes, Elijah? Waypoint. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're not uh, in Tibet, sorry. <laughs> Beto? Uh, you can ride at like a public transit with a bus. Yes, very good, very good. We have one more way that's on here. What? Do I have a hybrid? I'll count that. It's not on here, but I think that's a good idea because you have a hybrid or electric car. Yes? Again, if you live close distance, like biking. Yeah, yeah, if you live close distance, those are not on here. We were thinking more long distance, but if you live close, you want to walk, run, bike, I applaud you. I would not do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in Ohio weather? Yeah, we're from Michigan, so we feel it. Well, I am. Um, so one way is bus. You can take a bus. We took a bus from Detroit. I know. I know. <laughs> Detroit to Columbus. It was like four or five hours, and it was honestly not that bad. The people on there were not as crazy as you would expect, and it was surprisingly clean. Only one crying baby. Yeah. Wait, are we talking about the same Detroit, right? <laughs> same Detroit. You can't have anything in Detroit, but you can have a nice bus ride. We recommend Greyhound and uh, Baron Bus. We'll go quick. There's also a lot of bread on the streets of Detroit. There is bread on the streets. If you went to Yomacon, anyone here go to Yomacon? Oh, we got a couple people. We were there. Did you um, see the bread? You guys see the bread on the streets? Yep. Okay, good, good. So the bus is a great way. You can take that long distance, or if you live in the city of Columbus, you can take a bus there, or any big city. Carpooling, we heard that over there. That's a great one. Maximize your travel and get somebody to talk to on the road. Just don't hate each other at the end. Trains. Many of you guys may not know, but the Amtrak is a great way to travel to conventions. Um, they go inner city, inner state. Um, I haven't been on one, but I've been on a train when I lived abroad. Love trains, they're great. 
Um, I'm going to leave this to Kale. I do wear makeup, but I do not have the knowledge to be talking about it. That's true. So, again, one thing about the makeup is a cruelty-free thing. Like I said, I personally prefer it because if there's a product you really, really, really like from a non-cruelty-free brand, there is almost 100% of product that's literally exactly the same, or like a dupe or whatever, from a cruelty free brand. So there are like thousands of options, and honestly at this point there's really no reason for animal testing, in my humble opinion. And another, it really helps you to avoid mica, which is really, really, really bad. It's sourced from mines that they have like children working in, and it's really, really, really dangerous and destroys land because underground mines. And you can also look for plastic-free packaging options. Nowadays, a lot of things have cardboard-only packaging, so you can look just for that. And if it does have a plastic part of it, make sure to recycle it. Mica, by the way, is normally what makes the shiny stuff, so when you're looking for high energy right. stuff, keep an eye out if there's mica. Like yeah, read the ingredients. Yeah, sorry, we're going to be those people. Yeah, read them anyway. Like the plant mic whale poop on your face. Oh, yeah, you can't read. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you can do it for me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 One thing you should also do is be aware of the chemicals used in your product. So one of the main examples I like to use is sunscreen. You should really only use reef safe sunscreen because there are a lot of sunscreens that are not reef safe and actually destroying our coral reefs especially like if you're at the beach hawaii is a big one like their coral reefs are literally dying and i know we live by fresh water but i would just like to jump in and say all fresh well, almost all fresh water bodies do lead to the ocean so mm -hmm. you can still have an effect if you're swimming in like uh, lakes or rivers yes mm -hmm. not only that um like specifically Yes, yes. Once I traveled out of Tibet and lived in Chicago. Oh my God. <laughs> so I know all about that and it is terrible. Also the litter on the beaches, horrendous. Once my roommate left a whole towel there on purpose. And another thing is you should also use up all of your like makeup products before buying new ones. I used to be really, really, really bad at this, where anytime there was like a new launch or like a limited edition makeup product, I would buy it. Like every time. I have drawers on top of drawers filled with makeup. It's, it's, an, it's absolutely insane. But, so, but now I've started just finishing all of those off because it really helps. And it saves a lot of money too, because if you look at makeup palettes, a lot of the times, there will literally be the same shades in like 10 of them and it's worthless it's but don't don't use your uh, don't also look for mica on the packaging and also don't use expired products though please look at the little thing the you know like the little can thing on the bottom like the looking and it has like a number on it that's how many months it expires in after you open it label it <laughs> one more thing i want to add is be sustainable for the environment and your wallet Save your pennies. Cosplay is an expensive hobby. Yeah. Makeup palettes are really, really, really expensive too. I have spent literally thousands of dollars on it. It is ridiculous. I spent less than that getting a C6 Tartaglia. <laughs> my competitor, my C6 Tartaglia competitor is here. But, and here, biodegradable products are also a thing too. These specific sponges are completely biodegradable. The packaging is mostly cardboard, the plastic part is recyclable, and I like really, really like them. I'm kind of really picky, but I have been, I was buying them like constantly, and they're so good. I've gone through, like, of course they get like old and stuff, but it's good that they do biodegrade because I go through them kind of fast, which sucks.
So we're reaching the end, so you guys are going to get the prizes, which I know is what you all came here for. Um, but don't go home and throw away your unsustainable thumb, because if you're feeling bad now and guilty, don't. Come on, did you learn nothing from this panel? We just told you not to go throwing away stuff. Come on, guys, did you not take notes? I told you to turn off the Aksha devices. Notes? Okay. So, What's a note? That's a right. If you learned nothing from this lecture, you'll go home and throw away your unsustainable cosplays. But if you learned something, if you have a cosplay you don't want anymore, you'll either repurpose it or try and sell it. Um, if you want to buy a cosplay, you can consider buying used. You could also consider making something or doing more closet cosplays. Or reuse what you have. <laughs> the cosplay already exists. The effect that it has had on the environment is done. It is going to affect the environment no matter what you do with it, but the best you can do is to try and mitigate that by using it as much as possible or giving it or selling it to someone who will. Oh, is this like how one of the most sustainable things you can do? Instead of buying things like those sustainable water bottles, you can just use the ones you have. Like, they're already there. So just use them. Again, yeah, I'm telling you, I will get like some kind of, like this water bottle right here that I had to get for five dollars here. Five dollars for Dasani? Dasani? Are you kidding me? This is like, what? Excuse me, I would rather drink river water half the time. My gosh. The burning river? But that, yeah, exactly. But then, I will simply refill it like ten times and wash it out and use it until it like dies. <laughs> Dasani, really? <laughs> really? Does anyone know a water brand that you could buy for the same amount that's better than Dasani? Any other one? Yeah. Any other one? <laughs> They're all the same. Tap hey, water? That's a good point. No, that's a lie, actually. Because <laughs> Dasani adds, like, salt to their water to make it gross. Water's water. <laughs> Go drink the toilet water. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Clean water, clean water. Once I drink water off the porch. Okay, um, you guys are here for prizes though, right? I hope yeah. you took notes, but I ask you to all turn off your Aksha devices, aka your phones. I don't I want any notes. cheaters in here. Okay. I have all these prizes are sustainable um, to fit the theme of the panel. First is kind of basic, bamboo toothbrushes. Um, they all come in individual packs. Actually, that's a lie. They come in packs of two. Um, don't worry, these haven't been used. We're not included. Um, so the first question I have for you guys is, do you have any questions about what we talked about? Yes? Props. Props, yes. Uh-huh. Use cardboard. Or packaging of things that you've already yes. like done nice. and stuff like that's what I use for a lot of my stuff actually. Yes. And you can actually just like layer it on top of each other to make it like thicker. And I've actually used like like to make it a smoother surface to like paint over. I put like paper on there like receipts and spray painted over it. It is really it works really 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 well. Yeah, I would definitely say styrofoam can be good again if it comes with stuff you purchased. Why not repurpose that styrofoam rather than just throw it away? Um, again, cardboard, these ears are made out of cardboard. And if you like making swords, we actually got sent a really cool video, but we don't have permission from the user who created it um, to show. But um, use a Dasani water bottle, or whatever brand you choose. If you have a water bottle laying around, you can cut it in half. And so like there's a little lid and the connector. So you can have a sword where the hilt and the actual blade unscrew, which is oh. great to travel with. Yes, Colin? Oh, also, I forget what I was going to say. I'm going to go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I was going to write it down before I did it, but you know, the illiterate thing. I mean, come on, come on. My handwriting sucks anyway, and that has nothing to do with me being Colin. Let's be real here. <laughs> Another thing that I actually like to do is take like old shopping bags and stuff and use them for like, stuffing of things. Like I have a hat, like a witch hat thing I need to like prop up so I just stuffed it with old trash bags. 
yeah. like like shopping bags, and they really do make a good like filler for something. One of my friends used it to like I don't know fill a sock, <laughs> and it works really well. This is made out of old shopping bags, so you get a reusable bag out of single use bags. I found it at the store. Thank you. Um. Okay. So while yes. This course may be considered as dissemination of information by the academia. It's time for your pop quiz to see if you've passed. Again, easy question, packs of, packs of toothbrushes. Like Ashley, you're gonna to wanna to stay for the next one. Not the toothbrushes, we aren't saying you're gross. No, no, the next we one. We aren't saying you guys are all gross because of the toothbrushes. No, no. I'm just saying, um. um yeah, so plastic toothbrushes take up a lot of space in landfills as well as you are actually leaching the chemicals from the plastic into your mouth, um, which is not very good. These uh, toothbrushes are made out of bamboo. However, the little fibers that you actually brush your teeth with are in nylon, but they're nylon core, which is claimed to be biodegradable, um, but they're still doing more research on that. But I figured it was better. There are boar hair alternatives. But I didn't want to like not let vegetarian or vegan people not be able to participate in this. Um, so I didn't want to make anybody uncomfortable. So these are bamboo and with nylon bristles. And the first question to see if you pass is, what are the three R's? Congratulations, you get a toothbrush. <laughs> Actually two. You are so welcome. So we have the answers. Good job. Name three sustainable ways to travel to cons. Good job. You get a toothbrush. Two toothbrushes. <laughs> I'm telling you, I should get at least ten for my answers. They're a lot better than these people. <laughs> Okay, can someone here explain what closet cosplay is and give at least one reason why it is sustainable? So closet cosplay is trying to make it so you can get at least a whole closet. <laughs> and like, hey, this will work. And it essentially says, hey, it's new. Yes, and it's, yes, new purpose. Essentially three R's in one point. Yes, very good. What is something you can do to be more sustainable with makeup? At least one. At least one thing that our wonderful colleagues offer. Uh, yes, great. Biodegradable products. Just like these toothbrushes. And hopefully the bristles. Yay! There's, again, some refreshers. Who can tell us something that you learned? One thing, anything. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Good. I'm glad that you now know some. Who else can say something? <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. Don't flatter yourself. Yes, back there. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I didn't know that wild grand was toothbrushes come in packs of two. <laughs> <laughs> Only this brand. I was going to do packs of one, but I got more from this one. And I wanted to also, yeah. Oh, yeah. they also come in like packs of five or ten. I found them at Marshalls. Yeah, I was trying to get individually packaged ones, but they're in packs of two. Because I didn't want to just like hand out a toothbrush, like no packaging. I felt like you guys would think that'd be a little gross and it's sanitary. So congrats, I I'll give it to you. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. All right, now the reason I told Ayato this day, I hope you have an answer for me. Your brain cells do work, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the medium questions are boba straws. So, they have three places you can buy or sell used cosplays. Ayato. Yes, come get a boba straw. These I do have to have. 
I do have to kind of like stand these out too in a weird way. That is okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, the string is. We'll, just, we'll put them on the table if you guys are uncomfortable with that. So it's like, no, you're fine. Take one of those. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yay, and a cleaner? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yay! <laughs> 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 great job, great job. Okay, does anyone remember, it was towards the beginning of the panel, how many cosplayers are in the USA? Um, who has not answered yet? Kelly, you pick that up. This is too much pressure. I don't want to do this. At least more than two. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Okay, not it, it is more than two, but we need a more specific answer. Five million? What? Five million? Yes! We have more questions. Oh, no, there's so much to Somebody took notes. Good job. I don't know how to remember that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got to clean it somehow. <laughs> also, I don't know why. I was trying to be more sustainable and package it in plastic. <laughs> um, yeah, use it to still pack I didn't with. use the straws. <laughs> okay. um, uh, okay. Who or the expected number of monies for 2023? Tell us something you learned. You. I mean, you can buy um, the website that you made. We did have that one. Do you have another one? Though? Oh, okay. I didn't know there would have been um, much money in the concert. Sure. I'll take it. We have one, yeah, one down. more boba straw. We're down to the last straw. We are down. <laughs> we are down. I was the thing I said about really bad jokes from Sino. Um, no. We gotta change that one. Oh my god. Okay. Now I will permit you to use your Aksha devices if you absolutely must. Show us a cosplay that you bought secondhand. If you're wearing it, stand up. If not, get your phone. You are wearing your cosplay and you bought second hand. Does it count if you bought the parts separate from like uh, Goodwill? I will take that. I will take okay. that. You did get a toothbrush, so is it okay? Did you, did you get a toothbrush? Okay, did you get a toothbrush? Okay, then I'm going to... Uh, are you wearing it? No, I was just asking. Yes. <laughs> Are you wearing it? Yes. You're wearing it? Yes. This shirt is entered from the store, so I use it for Sanji. Nice, nice. And did you get a photo with us? I did not. You're welcome. Come on. There's more prizes, though. The last one is the grand ones, and then we will just be giving away kind of the last, we have more cleaners if you already have read the straws. And we also have more hands and toothbrushes. If we run the toothbrushes and have more cleaners, you can use the cleaners to brush your teeth. Oh, wow. <laughs> Colin, where are you from? <laughs> All right, the last one. The last one. You'll be getting a full, there's only four questions. You will be getting a full reusable cutlery set made of bamboo. This comes with um, a fork, a bamboo knife, no metal knife, sorry guys, um, spoon, and straw, straw cleaner, 
And there might be chopsticks if you're a chopstick user, but I'm pretty sure there is. Well, I don't know how to use chopsticks. Well, you use the fork. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's like really in character for you. <laughs> no chopstick user. Oh, you know. Wait, I'm supposed to be the sassy one. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to take after you. The the students are the students are bad. Okay. okay. <laughs> so who here has not gotten a prize yet? Just so we have Okay. No prizes. So I'm gonna ask I get this. Um, I don't understand. Over my years. Um, so I'm going to ask for the first five seconds. I'll give you guys five seconds. Um, if you have not received a prize, you'll have the first five seconds to raise your hand. After that, anybody, okay? In five sustainable fabrics. I would have roll. Good job. I'm going to choose your design. Again, I don't know why it's in. But. Yes. No. Choose your favorite pattern. I think they're all really cute, unless you don't like the color blue. Then I guess you're going to cry a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to see you falling your eyes out. <laughs> then you can just use the wrapping as a tissue. You're welcome. Congrats. All right. Here's all the ones that we have. We did not say linen earlier. However, linen is um, made of flax. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. It um, becomes wrinkled very easily. Hello. What is fast fashion and why is it bad and how does it relate to cosplay? Tell your head first. Um, fast fashion is like, oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, it's like made in bulk, um, and they, it like changes up really fast. Yes. Um, and the quality really cheap, yeah. labor. Um, and they use popular characters, such as like, the minute the new Genshin character comes out, they're like, we're on it. Very true. Um, Yes, I I would take that. Good job. Come choose your favorite pattern of the three lattice. Oh, ladies. Ladies. We don't take that way. <laughs> also, we, we want to admit that we are not, again, not saying we have bought cosplays before. We're just now trying to. Um, I only started cosplaying a couple August, August, July. Um, but because of my background in sustainability and my passion, trying. Yeah, that's all I remember the Doki Doki situation. Three reasons used cosplays are good. Save money. Do you have a sustainable reason? Uh, Besides for your wallet? Probably what you Oh, yes. 
Cosplay you made sustainably. Stand up if you made your cosplay sustainably. You made it. Do you have a photo? I'll let you use your optional device if you have a photo. I have a question. Yeah. Is it kind of if you made it for someone else? Yes, but she said. Um, explain. Explain. You need to explain. Yes. Um, so, I got this like a sparkly fabric. Oh god, I think I actually got it from my mom. So she had it like in college. Yes. Uh, so it's. Yes. Our uh, recommendations are 
Coscode, which is cosplay only, it's a very small platform right now, but they do have pop up events at different conventions. There was Mirpari, Depop, and then your mutuals on social media for all our recommendations. But there's definitely more sites. We do eBay, but you know. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, if anyone ever goes to a, a whatever, whatever it is, gym room, um, where can they get the good plants? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're gonna have to ask Kazuha about that. This <laughs> <laughs> is Nari. I don't do shrooms. Why does everyone think I do mushrooms? We know why. <laughs> Any other questions? Come on, we're really cool. Why do I only get TT if my wig is 50-50? <laughs> <laughs> because, like, see, six TT is kind of good. I'm one away. Woo! I'm kind of a whale, and I, like, build all of them. work better than chemical ones just in general like it's like a proven fact because it creates an actual barrier rather than like chemicals trying to like protect you they can be good yeah mm -hmm. um yeah actually do research Yeah, you can do it on the um, the guidebook app. I already gave it a five star like two days ago. <laughs> so you should also give it a five star. It sounded like a... Um, we tried really hard. Sorry, it wasn't that funny. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Thank you. Thank you. Get it, Chick Nine! If you want, no pressure, no pressure. Thank you for coming. You guys all look great. Oh, the way. Oh, you look way better. No, you.